everybody video here for you today now if you watch my channel you know I have covered many sites I go back 11 12 some 13,000 years in the Gobekli Tepe region and this story came out this week I know Matt and Ancient Architects did a video Turkey discovers new sites near famed Gobekli Tepe so I was really curious about this and I told Matt in a message or a comment that I'd probably do a review video of all these sites we were taught when we were growing up that civilization started about 6,000 years ago well did it start maybe twice as far back in history well we're going to review all these sites I'm just going to show them here for a second but there are many sites here that are in the same time frame as Gobekli Tepe but of course the famous site of Gobekli Tepe is what everybody knows about what we have been hearing about for a long time I believe this site was discovered in 1994. They really didn't give it much credit. They thought it was a Byzantine burial ground. And then Klaus Schmidt came in here and pretty much turned the archaeological world upside down by pushing human settlements and human activity back 12,000 years as far as building special places. But here you see the site of Gobekli Tepe today. Other sites I have talked about would have been clearly visible from Gobekli Tepe Hill here. Osman Tepe. And once again, we're going to take a look at all these places. Ancient Haran right there. And then down here, I have a question mark. There's a few sites that I have question marks, and I'm just wondering if that article came out about any of these sites that I have question marks by. But Herabetsuvan Tepesi, that is another place that has T-shaped pillars. And I believe far in the distance, that is ancient Sogmatar down there. First, why don't we look at a couple of these question marks I have here. I wonder if the new findings come from any of these places here. Here is one. That looks very ancient and Neolithic right there. If you zoom in here, you can kind of get an idea of some of the ruins in there. I wonder how old that place is. I have no location attached to that or no site attached to that location. A couple other ones right down here. Let's take a look at this one right here that to me looks like an ancient tell where there could be ancient ruins you can kind of get an idea of a few of them down here right down in this area here that looks very ancient and then we got another site down here let's see here this is called Karatepe I've never done a video on this but I have it marked here but if you look around this region you see a lot of places like this where there is an obvious ancient Neolithic tell it's a lot different than the the local farmland and you can tell it's a mound and this place I'm sure is very ancient right down here but I have not done a video on it yet called Carrot Tepe. Just southeast of Gobekli Tepe there is a Neolithic site down here called Kalna. See the ancient mound right there probably goes back eight, nine, ten thousand years who knows but obviously some current markings on that ancient mound right there. Now let's go a little over to the east and south Review these four sites, Sefer Tepe, Karahan Tepe, Herabetsuvan, Tepesi, and Sogmatar. Here is a quick review, Sefer Tepe, another 11,000 year old T-shaped pillar site. Not much is reported on on this site, but obviously T-shaped pillars were found. Some archeological work has gone on here, but you wonder how much really has. That is a quick look at Sefer Tepe. Let's go down here. Before we look at Karahan Tepe, why don't we review Herabetsuvan Tepesi, this seems to be linked to the very builders of Gobekli Tepe for a few reasons. But here is the ancient Neolithic tell where these discoveries were made. Here is a video I did in 2019, another Gobekli Tepe discovered. Here is them working at the site here. Found some statues. This one right here is called the Phallus statue. That's the name they gave it. But a very interesting site, T-shaped pillars. You notice right here the hands wrapped around the pillar just like Gobekli Tepe. This place seemed to be very important. And I will leave the link for all these below if I can. Just northeast of Herabetsuvan is Karahan Tepe. Megalithomania has done a couple good videos down here. Graham Hancock has wrote about this site. Here is a video I made in December 2020. New report, Karahan Tepe, older than Gobekli Tepe. And they made some new findings down here. Here is them working at the site. And they found a human face carved in stone here. Very interesting. But this place, 
older than Gobekli Tepe? I guess that is the question that was brought up less than a year ago in some new studies, but I will leave the link to all these videos below. I just think it's important to be thorough. When I documented every pyramid in Egypt, that really brought some new things to light for me. And I'd also like to say either tonight or tomorrow night, I'm probably going to go live for the first time ever on YouTube just because I never have. And I will just sit there and answer questions and try not to look stupid. Next site we're going to review. Not really sure how old this site goes back to, but it's right down here. This is ancient Sagmatar. I first found this on Google Earth. It took me a day or two to figure out what I found. And then I researched this for a couple years and solved the mystery that I've been looking into for about three years. I really solved that coming from some inscriptions at this site. NEXT is one of the few people that has been here and made a video on this site. And we were planning on doing a video, a little talk about this site with some of his footage. But if some of you aren't familiar, he returned from his ancient America trip. And his place had been ruined and now he's kind of really homeless. All of his things were ruined. There was a bad water leak and I will post his GoFundMe page. But that, that was really sad to read about. And brother, I'm just sending my best out to you. Here's a video I did in 2016, Sagmatar, Temple of the Seven Planets and the Hall of Records. And there are hints that records got moved from Egypt up to this area. The Sabians were involved here, but this place was a necropolis for thousands of years. The Abgar dynasty was revering a god down here. He is the one that received the Holy Linen in Edessa about 1900 years ago. But it took me a couple years to realize how important these inscriptions were. But if we go ahead here a little, this place has a very interesting ancient mound on it. It has stonework built into it. And there are temples on the hilltops around here that they say correspond to the planets. This was one of the more interesting finds that I've made. I think this was the first video, extensive video on this place that was on YouTube. But this place was a very important ancient necropolis and the Neolithic findings here, well, who knows how far back in history they will go. Now let's go up to the northeast, about 100 miles. Talk about four sites up here, Halan Sami, Korchik Tepe, Hassan Kiev, and Bankula Tarla. First, let's go down to Halan Sami, right down here. This is one of many sites I will be talking about today that are currently underwater due to dam construction. That's why making these videos is important because they can no longer be researched. But here is the site today, underwater. Here is a video I made about a year ago, underwater, 11,500 year old Halan Semi. So this place seemed to have gotten started right after the Younger Dryas ended 11,600 years ago. But this was a pretty fascinating site, stonework here. They did emergency archaeological work here before the dam flooded this area but here are some artifacts found at the site carvings there serpent symbolism i believe found on some of this stuff but this place very important finds were made here here are some auric horns there here is another look at the ruins but this place 11,500 years old very interesting seeing they had hogs here Seeing they were ancient farmers, but let's move on. Next site is right down here. It's called Kortik Tepe. And this place goes back further in time than Gobekli Tepe, if I remember right. But the ancient ruins are right on the river. Archaeological work went on here for quite a while. But this is the site right down here. You get a peek here on Google Earth at a few of the excavation works here. Here is a video I made in 2019, Kordik Tepe, older in the builders of Gobekli Tepe, and that's what I really wondered. This place was occupied from about 12,500 years ago till about 11,600 years ago, fitting nicely in that younger Dryas window. What did these people actually witness here? But people say, well, the builders of Gobekli Tepe were hunter-gatherers, but if there is evidence of permanent dwellings, pottery, farming and especially the uh, permanent dwellings were the builders of Gobekli Tepe really hunter-gatherers well I wonder but evidence of 
ritualistic burials here. These people were obviously spiritual people. A lot of artifacts found here. Some pottery coming from a little bit later in history. This was a very interesting one to do. And I will leave some links below, but this place dates back 12,500 years. Next site, let's go just over here to Hassan Kiev. Some of you may remember this video. Findings in this area go back 12,000 years, but here is the way it looks today. This city has been totally swallowed up by the river down here. Here is a video I did in 2020, in February, about 16 months ago. Turkish citizens say goodbye to 12,000 year old city. Here they are moving relatives buried in a cemetery because it's going to be flooded. Here are citizens just waiting for this place to go underwater. This was kind of a sad one to do, but this place has been totally lost to history now. Next site, let's just go a little bit to the southeast. This is called Bankukla Tarla, right down here. I think I made a video about this during the shutdown last year. But here is a dam, and I believe this ancient site is right down here, right in this area, right here. Here is a video I made, I guess, in December 2020 on this site here. Some of you re might remember the striation marks on that cliff side there. But a lot of stonework was uncovered during the archaeological work here. There was a lot of stuff found, ancient jewelry here with a little triangular stone at the bottom. A lot of different stuff, pillars found in the ground here. Evidence of ancient stonework here going back maybe 12,000 years. Pillars, green stones. There's another look at that necklace there. But this was a very interesting one to do. Ritualistic burials. A lot of stone uh, implements were found here. Some of it symbolic. There serpent symbolism found at this site. Many others. And a lot of this stuff had small little hole drills carved in very hard stone. But there is another look at some stonework found here. Another one of these sites that you just never know what you're going to find. But that is the 12,000 year old site of Bankuklu Tarla. And I say older than Gobekli Tepe. Remember, maybe about four or 500 years older according to the dating that we get. Now before I ended this video, I thought of another site down here. Gesir Hoyuk. It's located right down here and it's 12,000 years old. Here's a video I did in the fall of 2019. Gesir Hoyuk, 12,000 year old pillars and ritual burials. But there, just like a lot of sites, ritual burials found here. You notice the pillars right there in the middle of the circular enclosure. Here is some sort of stonework carved with that symbol right there. Seems people a long time ago could do special things. Here's a look at one of those pillars, kind of in a base form, or on a base, kind of like Gobekli Tepe. People here were doing pretty incredible things. There's some pottery found at the site, but this just added another chapter to this series here. What did this represent? Well, it's all for speculation, but Gesir Hoyuk, 12,000 years old with pillars and stone enclosures. Now let's go a little bit to the west here again. This is called Norsen Tepe. This site has been lost underwater again. A lot of sites have been lost, but it was it was right down here. Here is a video I made a little over a year ago. I believe that is the top of this ancient tell or tepe sticking out of the water. Pretty mysterious looking place, but the archaeologists put up walls here to make this a little more stable when they were doing work here once again. I will leave all these links below if you want to watch. Here's a look at the place in winter. But this place, I know a few people have done videos on this, but this place, like others, is lost to history today. Now let's go over a little bit to the west. Look at these four sites here. And some of these don't date back as far as Gobekli Tepe, but they are very ancient. In some of these places, it's kind of mystery how old they are. First site we're going to look at is Kadir Hoyuk. Right down here, this is a site I talked about relatively recently. Here is a video I did about three, four months ago. Kadir Hoyuk and 6,000 years of occupation. There was many periods of history here. This was a very interesting one to do. Reading the new archaeological reports and the findings here. 6,000 years of occupation. There was a lot of artifacts found here from many different cultures. 
this was a good one to do. I remember learning a lot. What more can you ask for? Here are some Hittite libation bowls found at one layer of the history here. Next site is just a little bit south. This is called Kulte Tepe, and it's right down here. Evidence of ancient ruins here and archaeological work done at this site. Here is a video I did about a year and a half ago, and I can tell I did this one right after I got my new PC. A lot of ancient stonework was uncovered, some tablets with inscription, cuneiform inscriptions, and I just wondered in this video how old this place really is, because a lot of the dating here, you just got to wonder about. There's still a lot of stuff buried here. This seemed to be a pretty extensive site. Some of the ruins are uncovered, some of them not uncovered. But there you see one of the tablets uncovered at the site, and I guess there was many of them. But there is a look at some ancient stonework, Kulte Tepe, at least 5,000 years old, and you just got to speculate how old some of these sites could really be. Next site, let's just go a little bit to the west. This is called Ixikli Hoyuk. You notice the ruins here, right down on this hilltop. This place is 11,000 years old. This place, a lot of finds were made here. Here's a video that I did in September 2019. Here is a little flyover of the ancient ruins up on this hilltop. This was a very interesting one to do. They uncovered a lot of stonework, evidence of farming, ritualistic burials, weaving, stonework here, little carved holes in some of these hard stones. An obsidian bracelet made that well that long ago. How do you explain that? But there are evidence of uh, permanent settlements here. Very interesting. Maybe brain surgery at this site. How much do we really know about prehistory? Or prehistory as far as the standard model of history? Well, this series here, doing all these videos, well, it certainly taught me a lot. We don't know a lot. Next site, let's just go a little bit back to the east here, Darren Kuyu. I've talked about this place about four times. Guy was making home repairs, a wall caved in, and an ancient underground city was discovered. Here's a video I did about six years ago on the underground city of Derinkuyu. In later videos, I speculated how this place might have been built by people 12,000 years ago to ride out some cataclysmic event. People had the ability to construct pretty important things, but just surviving, would that have been enough motivation to construct this site a long time ago? Well, I have speculated, and other people have, that that might have been the case. But this place, very interesting, pretty astounding bit of engineering in this place. Next site we will talk about is Chatelahoyuk, just to the south and southwest of Derinkuyu. Right down here, here is the Neolithic site, maybe 9,000 years old, but pretty important place. A lot of finds here, a lot of archaeological work went on here. Here is a video I did a little earlier this year in January, Chatelahoyuk. The dating here goes back a little over 9,000 years. Here is a look at some of the archaeological work here. Homes built in the ground. Very fascinating place. They had to take a ladder out of their homes. They think these people descended literally from people who lived underground. So how can you not think of Derinkuyu? Here is a reconstruction of one of these homes. The Oricorns, they were very symbolic. Maybe an ancient calendar in red ochre here in the wall. But I will leave all these links, or at least a playlist below, so you can watch all these. But I am having a good time reviewing all these, because a lot of this in information I have forgotten. Ritualistic or symbolic burials, connections to other sites here. This place is very fascinating. Kind of a mother goddess figure there. Some more artwork found here. But this place, very interesting, goes back 9,000 years at least. Now let's go a little closer to Gobekli Tepe. There are five sites, six sites maybe, right in this area. They don't date back as far as Gobekli Tepe. Tel Carmel is the only one that I think I've really covered. But let's go down to Navali Chorai. This is another site that was lost. But archaeological work went on here before the site was flooded. And it's located right down here. Here is a video I made about three and a half years ago, 10,000 year old in the Valley Chorai before this place was all flooded and lost. But there was stonework here, pillars, stuff found carved on the pillars. This place seemed to be connected to Gobekli Tepe, at least in a lot of people's opinions. 
but there was archaeological work done here and stuff was uncovered symbolism carved into stones here are some happy dancing people maybe 10,000 years old but did the, but did these people remember a specific event did they have this on their mind when a serpent or a comet came down and pretty much destroyed their world next site a Yan Lar Hoyuk a little south of the Valley Chorai, a little west of Gobekli Tepe, but it's right down here. Here's a video I did about six months ago, a Yanlar Hoyuk, another Gobekli Tepe era site. They found stuff poking out of the ground. This is just like one of those portal windows, as they call them, found at Gobekli Tepe. This site was pretty interesting to look into. They had some symbolism on some pottery here, found from a time period a little later. But is that ancient cement found at the site or archaeologists kind of supporting something there? That didn't really have an explanation to it. But here you see some sort of feline figure. Other stuff was found here, stonework. But that pillar sticking or that column there, that portal window sticking out of the ground kind of connects it to Gobekli Tepe, not too far away. Next site, let's just go a little bit here to the southeast. This is called... Hazman Tepe. This is located, I think, near a dump, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I talked about this site, but certainly connected to Gobekli Tepe in a few ways. But it's somewhere right down here. Here is a video I did a little under two years ago. Hazman Tepe, another Gobekli Tepe co site. This seems to come from the same time period. Bahatan Selik was the archaeologist who did a lot of the work at this site. Some of the evidence is just peeking out of the ground, and I believe amateur archaeologists or looters came to the site and pulled some stuff out of the ground. But here you see some evidence of the stone circles here, those little cup marks, and I guess these were found at Gobekli Tepe too, and other sites around the world. But here you see some of the work done here. There was stuff found, stone carvings. Not sure what that represents. You can leave your thoughts below, but this site found not far away from Gobekli Tepe and seems to date from the same time period. Well, I knew this would happen. I think I'm mispronouncing this, but this is called Hamzan Tepe. But here is a long distance view of the settlement and it is right next to a garbage dump. Now I'm gonna mention three places really quick here. I just wanna add this. I'm adding this at the end of the video. But of course we have ancient Haran down here. This is a very important place. It's mentioned in the Bible from the very early chapters of Genesis. Also, right over to the west, we have a place called Kuruklu Koyu Kamli, and it's right down here. And I just butchered that tremendously, but here is the ancient tell right down here. Never done a video on that place. And then, of course, a little bit to the north. i just like to mention that I think Graham Hancock mentioned his in his Magicians of the Gods book, that Gobekli Tepe and ancient Haran are exactly one degree separating them, exactly one degree of Earth's circumference apart. So I thought that was very interesting. And of course, right down here in San Lurfa, ancient Urfa, ancient Ur of the Bible, we have a site down here where Urfa Man was discovered. And this is Urfa Man, pretty haunting statue coming from prehistory here maybe 10,000 11,000 years old next site is a little west of the sites i had just been talking about but this is called jerf lmr lost to damn construction but this place goes way back in history here is a video i did a little over a year ago gobekli tepe's builder's site underwater jerf lmr circular enclosures they found here I believe this was another site where emergency archaeological work went on just because the site was going to be lost to history. Here is one enclosure with pillars in a circular fashion. Was that set up for astronomical observations? Well, you can only wonder. But this site here, dating to the same time period as Gobekli Tepe, those oric horns there, other stuff, kind of a serpent or a bird head there, symbolic rituals. I talked about in the Valley Chorai in this video because there was serpent symbolism found at this site also. And you notice that right up there. What does all that mean? Well, they came from the same time period as Gobekli Tepe. 
I'm sure they saw a lot of incredible things on Earth taking place at that time. Next site, let's just go a little south. This is called Muribet, and this is another site lost underwater today. Here's a video I did a little earlier this year, Submerge 12,200-year-old site tied to Gobekli Tepe, but lost history here. Circular enclosures, impressive stonework coming from over 12,000 years ago. This site might date about 600 years earlier than Gobekli Tepe, if we can trust the dating here, but new ways of dating places makes it pretty solid in my eyes. But there is a look at some of the stuff found here. Settlements, homes, auric horns, I guess. But geometry was configured into this site, and a site or a story came out not long ago how Gobekli Tepe was geometrically configured. But here are some of the symbolic things found on some of the stonework here. Site that I had never heard about, serpent symbolism. But this, man, just learn a lot doing these videos. Another site tied to Gobekli Tepe, Muribet, 12,200 years old. Next site, Abu Herrera. Randall has talked about this. I think Matt did a video on this place, but a very important place. Archaeological work went on before this place was flooded. Those findings say this, that this place was destroyed by a cosmic impact about 12,800 years ago. Here is my video from the end of the shutdown. The findings here at Abu Herrera. They studied the impact proxies here, and they determined that this site was destroyed about 12,800 years ago, right at the beginning of the Younger Dryas period. People speculate that Pillar 43 indicates some sort of impact event at Gobekli Tepe. Well, here, a little earlier in history, these people were destroyed by one, so is it out of the realm of possibility that that pillar at Gobekli Tepe definitely indicates some sort of a horrific event that happened nearby and the descendants certainly would have remembered this the younger Dryas event people are realizing that that certainly changed the course of history but here right in the Gobekli Tepe area evidence of a cosmic impact I think that's very important but I think I will wrap it up there this video has gotten pretty long I know I have forgotten a few sites but that is Abu Herrera one of many sites dating back to the Gobekli Tepe era. But that is a video I think I will wrap up right now. A bunch of sites discussed. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very nice day.